So Jake Tura did a video a few years ago about whether or not you should do French contrast if you're new to trading. And the conclusion that he came to is no. And the reason why he said no to this is because people with less experience training are less likely to get the beneficial potentiation effect due to something like a French contrast compared to someone with more experience training. But I want to make another point on this topic. Think about adaptive resistance. If your training age is low, anything and everything will work. If you incorporate so-called advanced methods too early, these things become less effective for you later on when you actually need to find a more potent stimuli in order to continue pursuing adaptations. You'll eventually become desensitized to training stimuli. Training stress eventually loses its power to elicit adaptation once the organism is exposed to that stress enough times. You eventually get to the point where your current style of training stops working. And when the organism does become desensitized to a training stress, it needs a greater magnitude of stress in order to continue to adapt. This could be higher absolute loads, higher relative loads, training density, novelty, contrast training, accommodating resistance, and there's only so much potential room for adaptation in a given time period. Using an advanced method isn't going to speed up your development. And real, long-lasting adaptations take a long time to develop. What you don't want to do to yourself is start desensitizing yourself to higher magnitudes of training stress when you can continue adapting to things that are more simple. If you can still get a lot of value out of basic strength training, some jumping, some sprinting, just keep doing that. That's still pretty much all I do. You're better off waiting until you've experienced real development. And diminishing returns are very apparent before you start incorporating more advanced training methods. Slow cooking is a better approach to take.